Hello there, and thanks for waking up to Sunrise at Sea. My name is Kirin Antozo, and I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite dishes. You know, it's quick, it's simple. However, joining me in studio, my assistant is none other than Siobhan Alma. Good morning. Good morning. And my role here is quite simple. To taste <laughs> and to drink. She said it. She's going to be my tester, you know. So now to kick it off, I have um, some pasta already boiled, you know, I just hot water, deep it in, uh, put some salt in there and throw them in. Let them cook, but they shouldn't be so mushy because you don't want them really soft. But again, they shouldn't be raw, if you know what I mean, yeah? So Siobhan, you're going to help me out with this. Since you're my assistant, I want to... So with a few ingredients, we need pasta, we need some olive oil, which is actually going to pour in there. I want you to pour some olive oil in there. We need some olives, some black pepper, some salt, some sweet corn, you know. It's more like a vegetable pasta recipe salad, yeah? You can play around with it. Does it matter how much olive oil you pour in? Sir? It depends on the quantity of the pasta that you have. But I know you but I know you love to cook. How about spaghetti? Is it this particular type that you need to have or you can have even the long one? No, you can't choose the long one. The long one, I'll show you in another in another uh, another recipe how to actually different ways of playing with the spaghetti. But now we're doing pasta, yeah. So mix it up a bit. So I have some onions. I'm going to chop them. It's so crunchy. Is the it? is the fried one is crunchy. Oh, so you want to fry and and that I can't? I think you can. There's so many ways of playing around with food. <laughs> yeah. Be creative. <laughs> who knows? You may try the mukene pasta. Yeah. And who knows? So many people may like it, yeah? So I'm chopping this into small size. If you'd like. And I'm mixing. Make sure spaghetti. yeah, make sure it's all mixed up together, like all the oil is in. Every pasta has to have, every piece of pasta has, has to have some oil to it. The thing about me and cooking is that every time I cook, I can't help but eat. Like, I like to eat even when I'm cooking. <laughs> I, I just never wait for the food to I get think, ready. I'm always eating before it gets ready. I think every pasta that cooks in the kitchen is a victim of that. Well, I first start by testing the salt, then I test to see if it's ready, then I test to see if the spices are mixed, then I test when I'm about to serve. So. We all need to do that, don't we? <laughs> I don't know about you. So now you're going to be my tester. Check the salt. I want you to add some black paper in there. You're going to use some black paper. You can even use the fresh one if you want. Yeah. If you want that extra, extra spiciness. Yeah. Do you know the salt? Yeah, I know the salt. Oh, from um, Israel? No. The one, you use the one specifically from Israel? Yes. No, it's, I don't know that it's, one. It's, 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 um, it's healthy salt. So it depends, especially if you have an issue with raw salt and oil. Yes, yes. Very true, very true. You want to put the iodized salt. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you put some black paper in that. If you want it spicy, add that black pepper. But black pepper adds, adds that flavour to it, you know. There's something about black pepper, honestly. If you have a salad cutter, you don't have to go through all this process. Yeah. If you have one for yourself, just use that. Cut them in round shape, put it on and chop it. If you 
some tomatoes. Now, like, she probably doesn't like um, cucumber. Yes. I invited her over some time and I'd met this and it had cucumber in it and she was sorting it out. So play around with your parts the way you want it. Incorporate whatever you want, you know, the flavors you want, play around with them. So um, I'm gonna get some bell paper. It can, but you can even have it as a main meal, you know. So most times when I make the pasta, I tend to like to have it with like grilled chicken, something grilled, you know. We're gonna have grilled chicken today. That is what I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's nice with the uh, with the grilled chicken. If you have some meat, those are like uh, nyamachoma. Yeah, you can have this on the side as the main meal. Yeah. So many ways of playing with it. Do you want the sweetness to it? Fruits. Put fruits in it. Fruits like what kind of fruits? Any fruits. Uh, grapes. I usually use grapes or apples next time. I love pineapples. I love pineapples. I've never tried. Mini, you actually, I think, use a very ripe pineapple. I've never tried a pineapple bit. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's food. Experiment. You never know. Someone can actually yeah. use. I'm going to put this aside okay. so that we have space in the dish. Good thing what you're making doesn't take a very long time. Maximum, maximum, this meal will take you 15 minutes. When, when I have tested this and the people behind the scenes, behind the cameras, in control room, then you get to test this as well. <laughs> when I am done. That's really good. So quick. So if you have pasta and you don't know what to do with it, yeah? If you don't know what to do with it and you like it. Yes, don't throw away fruit. Be creative. Go in the kitchen. Try new things. Who knows? <laughs> then you shouldn't be bad if you're using it. So after putting in the ring, uh, yeah, just yes, mix it all up together. Okay. Yeah. So I have some cilantro.
So, so with the trick with that, just don't put a lot of it because they might go like. <laughs> so she found mind the girly to actually put in there. So um, I don't have a grater with me. So I'm just going to dice them. Don't, don't let having a few things stop you from making that meal, if you know what I mean. So this is the most. Since you don't want to have that bread, I'm not going to put a lot Yeah. <laughs> extra lemon in it. We're almost done. Yeah. So we can't use the green lemons? You can, you can. I thought, I thought you brought this because of the color. No. Just... <laughs> We've not done a very bad job. Look at that. Yeah. I love the colors. I love the colors all together. Yeah. You can put many colors as you want, many vegetables as you want, yeah. So now, look at her, she already had. So like I said, you can make this for the kids literally every day. It's so quick, a few minutes. If you're tired from work and you're looking for a quick meal, this is a quick meal. 15 minutes maximum, if I have to give it 20, it's really 15 minutes. Well, that's all I have for you here at Sunrise at Sea. Once again, my name is Kiran Atolza and thanks Siobhan for joining me. Well, I'm hoping you all enjoyed what I had to show. Try it out, follow us on social media, try it out on everything and let me know. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and let me know what you think. Good morning. <laughs>